Hello to the people of Trinity Cathedral. My name is B.J. Owens. I'm the Dean of Trinity in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Today is election day. It's the conclusion of a long and bitterly fought campaign. You know it's election day. We all know it. Uh, I hope you voted already or you have plans to do so today. I voted about a week and a half ago early. Uh, and if you haven't made plans, I hope you'll do so. Voting is such an important part of participating in our democracy, but also as Christians, we're called to respect and honor and work for the dignity of every human being. We do that by participating in the democratic process, by putting forward leaders who we believe will help to allow us as a people to, to better thrive and see and, and honor that dignity. But also in times of conflict, we are reminded as Christians that we are called to see the image of God, not just in the people with whom we agree, but also in the folks that we, with whom we don't agree. That's particularly difficult in moments of conflict. But remember that as Christians, we, do not, we are not able to set that responsibility aside. And as we grow, grow, we also realize that being able to see that image in everyone is, is what helps us to grow. Well, today is a very stressful day. Uh, I encourage you to take care of yourself. Uh, take a breath. Take, a, take a, a moment away from the news if that helps. And remember that God is here. God is present. And that the imagination of God, God's dream for this world, transcends the partisan politics of our day, even in some of the most acute and challenging and frightening moments. And we are called to, to, to share in that imagination and work for the world that God envisions. And so I offer you two prayers today uh, from our Book of Common Prayer. One, a prayer for an election. And two, a prayer for social justice, both of which I think offer shades of that broader vision uh, the gospel vision for our world, one that can help us to see beyond our own politics and also realize how that can shape how we participate in the life of our community. God be with you. Almighty God, to whom we must account for all our powers and privileges, guide the people of the United States in the election of officials and representatives, that by faithful and administration, by faithful administration, and wise laws. The rights of all may be protected, and our nation be enabled to fulfill your purposes. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That's the prayer for an election. This is the prayer for social justice. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We envision a world, friends, where barriers that divide us crumble, suspicions disappear, hatreds cease. And that those divisions having been healed, we can live together in justice and peace. It is not a simple or a simplistic vision. It's one that takes our, the work of our whole lives and of the generations that come after us. But it's holy work, and we can see the work of this day as a part of it. Blessings to each of you. Hold each one in your prayers and know that God is with you.